Hello YouTube, XCT here. Today we are solving Forge, a medium difficulty Linux machine on Hectobox, which involves an SSRF and playing with the Python debugger. So from the port scan we can see that SSH and an Apache web server is running and also FTP is filtered, which means that it might be running locally and we just can't access it, but it's not guaranteed. So let's have a look at this website for now. Um, here we have some kind of gallery page. We can't click these, but this thing here is a link so we can Try to upload images either from a local file or from a URL. So let's try from a local file first. And that seems to work. Let's open that and we get the image back. So that's interesting. Um, we could also try to upload like a web shell, right? So let's try that as well. Um, but it's displaying some errors here. And if we check that in verb, we can see that it's just giving us the text back. So it's not executing any PHP or something like that. Um, so Let's try to play with that URL here and let's just try to point it to our box. So you have a web server running and we can see we get a hit here. Let's look at this upload request here and we can see that there's a parameter called remote equals one. That's interesting. We don't know what that one is yet, um, but remember there was FTP running. Um, so this could be like maybe a target for an SSRF attack, but I don't really know how to do that from the URL. Um, so at this point, we really just have to enumerate some more. So let's do some virtual host discovery here with FBuff. And we can see that there's a virtual host um, admin.forge.htb. So let's try to go to that one. Okay, that's interesting. Now it's telling us um, we are only allowed to access that one from localhost. So one thing we could try is we could just go to this upload from URL feature here and try to point it to this admin page. But it's telling us that this is a blacklisted address, so something in code must be checking that. Um, so how can we get around that? Um, one way is to create a PHP file here. And the only thing we're going to put there is uh, we're going to set the location header so it gets redirected to admin.forge.htb instead of directly calling it. And if we just spawn a PHP server here like that and then enter our URL here, it should get redirected to the admin page without triggering this filter. Yeah, that worked. And if we look here, we got the request. So let's see if there's anything in this response here. And yeah, here we can actually see in the response that it managed to pull the admin portal. So there seems to be an upload endpoint and an announcements endpoint. So let's go to the announcements one. Just going to change our index.php here, like that. Start the server again. And now we are on this announcements page and we can see some, some hint here. There's an internal FTP server and there are credentials here. So let's store these. And the upload endpoint supports FTP. And it's also telling us how to use it. Um, basically, there's the U parameter here where we have to put our FTP stuff. So let's try that. Again, we are going to do it indirectly by modifying our PHP page here. Then we put the credentials we just got and the server will be forge.htb. Let's see what we get here. And we get a not found here. So let's check if everything was correct. Oh yeah, it will be the upload, not the uploads endpoint. Yeah, and here we actually get the directory listing of the FTP root, including user.txt. Um, one thing we can't see here is um, hidden files. So if there would be like a private key in a hidden directory, we wouldn't see the .ssh directory here. So we just have to guess that one. So let's modify the file once again and see if there is like an ID RSA private key here. And here we go, we indeed get a key. So let's copy that one. And then we don't have a username at this point. So let's try user here. Yeah, that's indeed the username on the box. So now we can read the user plan. Now let's look for root. Um, ID is not showing anything special. So let's check sudo and we can execute this Python script here. So saw that 
And then let's have a look at the script. Okay, it's opening like a socket. It wants us to enter a secret password, which is this one. And then we have a couple options here that will trigger some predefined commands. So there's no user input here. We do psdf or ss as commands. So there isn't really some kind of injection here. But if you look at the imports, there's one interesting one, which is PDB. And PDB is the Python debugger. If some kind of error occurs, you will drop in a PDB console and can do typical debugging stuff like stepping or inspecting memory and stuff like that. And you can also run arbitrary Python from PDB. And since this is running with sudo as root, as soon as we drop into this console, we can execute commands as root. So how do we cause an error here? Well, we will have to enter this password and then there's user input only at this place here, right? Um, it's reading our input and then it's casting it to an integer. So if we just provide something that can't be casted to an integer, like a couple of letters or something like that, it will crash into the console. So let's do that. So we're starting that here. Then I'm just going to open another SSH here and then we connect to this port here. We need the password we just saved. Yeah, now it's expecting an integer, right? So let's just write a couple letters and we drop into the PDB console. And all we have to do here is basically write Python code. So we can do import OS, OS.system and then basically run anything we want, like binsh, for example. And just like that, we've become root. So let's go to the root directory and read the flag. So that's it for the box. If you liked the video, please subscribe, click the like button and see you next time.